The US is concerned by China and Russia. The ties are getting closer and it's worrying Biden. It's worrying the United States of America. Why should it worry them? Well, if you think about it, it's a real strange alignment. We've seen that Russia has tied closer and closer to China. Of course, it started 20 months ago before the Ukraine-Russia war. And there was a meeting between Putin and Xi and they decided on an alliance, an alliance between the two. What's in it for China? Well, lower cost energy and potentially the opportunity to compete more aggressively with America. Was that when the decision was made for Russia to invade Ukraine? It's certainly possible. But what we're seeing right now, we're seeing an escalation in that situation and it's worrying America. Why? Well, if we see this superpowers, those superpowers against America, then you can see the concern. We have a divided world. And of course, it means that this is one of the reasons that we have inflation. People talk about all sorts of things that caused inflation, but lots of it are about deglobalization. In other words, when you get free trade, you tend to get lower inflation. When you get deglobalization, you get higher inflation, higher interest rates. And that's why when you're investing your money, you need to make sure that it's in the right places with the right advice. There's certainly sectors that gain from the opportunities, but we all have to be concerned. Many are obviously worried about potentially a world war. I actually don't think that's the case. Or rather, I think we're in a world war, but it's a technological world war. It's a financial world war. We're not in, in my personal opinion, a nuclear war. But we do have these superpowers looking to compete and doing whatever it takes potentially, apart from destroy the world, to actually compete. So when we're looking at financial affairs, it's getting in the sectors. It's seeing companies that can be in the right places to continue to make money. Of course, we'll see that the economy in China still continues to grow. They want to do that. And bizarrely, they actually need America to some extent to trade. So it's a competition which sees China looking to see if it can actually continue its trade with America. It's got to play it just right. But taking advantage of the fact that Russia has become dependent on China. So the winner actually out of all this right now is China. They're gaining. The currency is stronger. Russia has to rely on China buying its goods. And of course, this means again that China is gaining the upper hand. Okay, do we see a change of world order? You could argue we've got that already to some extent. What do you think? China and Russia tighter together? Should it be a concern to America or should it be a concern to all of us? Of course, when you're investing money, that means that you have to look slightly differently at where you invest, what's affected, what's going to cause an issue. Right now, we're seeing higher inflation. And for me, it's set to stay. And that means that you've got rates of interest, which if you're in the right places, you can actually get the best returns. If you go to the De Beer Group site, you'll see that you can receive our newsletter and get ideas on the things that you can invest in. Leave a comment below. If you want to know more about what we do or what you think about China and Russia and what's happening right now in the world.